All right, what's up guys? My name is Jay Nira. I'm doing a seminar for Omar. I'm going to be talking a little bit about technique and the importance of technique. Uh, first, for, for those of you who don't know, so I'm Jay Nira. I usually compete at the 220 weight class, sometimes at 242. My best total is 1907 at 220 and 1923 at 242. Best lifts are 733 and just about 495 bench and uh, 780 deadlift. Um, so I want to talk about technique because so often I get these young kids coming into my gym or people messaging me on Instagram for online training and they just want a program. They just want some cookie cut program. And I always have to tell them, well, first we got to get good. We got to get our technique. We got to build a skill. And uh, a lot of people don't get this, especially young kids. They just want to lift heavy. They think it doesn't really matter. So I just want to draw a curve here and let you guys know the importance of technique. Okay. So here's a general strength curve. Okay. So we got strength up here. Okay. So squat, bench, deadlift, strength. And this is time. Okay, so strength over time. And in general, okay, how it looks is the curve looks like this. Okay? So when you first begin, it's easier to make all these big gains. Then you have your more intermediate lifters and your more advanced. They're striving to get just that, that little bit more, that you know, 10 pounds a year on their total, because it's it's so hard, it's diminished so much. When people come in here, what they don't realize is that changing your technique, optimizing your technique is a complete friggin shift of the curve. It's a whole other curve. You just shifted everything. Okay? So if this is where your strength was, okay, there's your strength over that amount of time. If we change your technique, we make you better. Bam, your strength, look at that difference right there. Your strength just shot up without actually getting stronger, you got stronger in these lifts, right? So you, if you can improve your squat right away or you can improve your bench right away or your deadlift right away, why not do this? So your max potential also shifted up. So where you can be as an advanced lifter also changed. Also better technique, less injuries. It's good shit right there. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. So I've been in the strength game for a long time. I'm going on two decades. And uh, all I can say is technique is one of the most important things. I mean, if you're doing things with bad technique all the time, you're just reinforcing terrible movement patterns and uh, bad things are going to happen in the long run. Like I said, you're not going to push yourself to the limit that you could achieve to your true potentials. So when you're doing this, you know, like if you're squatting, you know, find out where should my bar be? Uh, is my back tight and set up? Am I breaking properly at the hips, too much, too little, is my weight on my whole foot, is my stance proper, we got to find these things out. Search, Just look it up, try and figure it out, find a coach, and uh, that's probably the best thing you can do right now. So, hope this helps guys, hope it gets you thinking about technique. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, jneasy2100, uh, at jneasy2100. Uh, you can check me out at uh, Dynamo Barbell, that's my gym in Ottawa, if you're ever in town, and uh, have fun lifting.